Mtazamaji leo hii na kuletea taswira kamili ya mchirizi wa barafu na tutakuwa tunazungumza na Beth ambaye atatuelezea mengi kuhusu jinsi ambavyo anatengeza bidhaa zake. Jina langu ni Wamba Wahisi na haya ni makala ya hapa kazi. Mtazamaji hapa kazi huu ni utengenezaji wa mchirizi wa barafu ambao unatengenezwa na Beth wa Moyo ambaye atazungumza mengi kuhusu kazi anayofanya na jinsi ambavyo ameweza kufanya biashara hii kwa muda ambao ameufanya. Karibu sana katika makala ya hapa kazi. Ningependa ujitambulishe ili mtazamaji ajue wewe ni nani na tunafanya nini hapa haswa. Mimi naitwa Beth wa Momo Gandhi. I'm the owner uh, of Craven School. It's a small business, basically specializing in gelato Italian ice cream and that we make from scratch ourselves um, using natu natural ingredients, locally available, organic uh, available ingredients that we can get from the farmers, from the market yeah. and make a nice ice cream out of it. Kwa hivyo labda mengine ni kuulize uh, mbona ukaamua bidhaa ambazo unatumia ni za hapa na nasikia unaziita organic ama za kiasili. Mbona ukaamua uh, hautatumia bidhaa zingine bali hizi za kiasili ambazo zinapatikana hapa? Just because I think uh, there is a lot that is available for us to use before we go and use commercially uh, engineered ingre ingredients. Kenya is rich, has got a lot of ingredients, lots of milk, lots of fruits that I don't think we're using enough in innovative way of using it apart from eating raw fruits or cooked food. We can even make ice cream out of them and enjoy them and everybody likes an ice cream. So no. why not? No. No. Suali ambalo labda mingine nimesikia watu wa kimbiza, uh, mchirizi wa barafu una manufa gani kiafya? Sababu mtazamaji anaweza kuwa na juuliza, uh, nitapata faida gani kiafya nikitumia uh, bidha ambazo unatengeza? Ata kabla tuende kwa afya, um, mara nyingi tukikula ice cream, hatujuu zimetengenezo na nini? Nini imekwa kwa hiyo ice cream? So, when you see that you're using a natural ingredient to make you to eat your ice cream, so we incorporate fruit. Fruit is vitamins, it's good for us. It's nice, you enjoy it. So I think it's just another way of incorporating fruits into our diet yeah. and also enjoying ourselves. Who doesn't like a treat? We all like a treat, don't we? So once you have a, a nice treat and you know it's healthy, has less sugar, less fats in it, but also you enjoy yourself, you live a, you live a little. Yeah, yeah. Na biyashara ni nyingi. Yeah. Mtu anaweza ufanya biyashara moja ama nyingine. Mbona haswa ukachagua biyashara hii ya mchilizi wa barafu? Kuna sababu ya yote ambayo labda pengine ilipeleke uka mwa kufanya biyashara hii? Mi natenda chakula. Yeah. First off, let's start with I love food. And also, sinja, mara nyingi naona tunatumia chakula kwa namna moja, eh? kama ni matunda tunakula ama tunatengeneza juice yeah so me kuten, kutengeneza ice cream i thought um, in the country we don't have a lot of businesses that is uh, number one kenyan owned by a kenyan and making ice cream which i make an italian ice cream so interpret an italian ice cream into a kenyan market for a kenyan market so so nikaona it's a good business to go into number moja sio watu wengi wame, wame wameenda njia hii na wala wameenda njia hii uh, most of them it's uh, commercialized it for the mass market it's not for that premium ice cream so in Kafkiri, it would be nice to bring premium ice cream that is nice Thank 
kwa jibu hilo. Ningependa kuuliza pia wakati ambapo unataka ufahamike labda pia yeah. biashara yako ifahamike mm -hmm. njia gani ambazo unatumia ili watu wajue kuhusu biashara yako? Mara nyingi watu wa, wala wamekuja kwa duka zetu wanakuja kwa mall sasa so, tuko kwa mall tuko kwa TRM mall tuko kwa Garden City watu wakikuja mara nyingi wanakuja wanatafuta something to eat or they are looking for just something to relax with so we have a lot of walkings we also have a lot of word of mouth watu wengi wamekula ice cream zetu wame they've spoken a lot about our ice creams out there so a lot of people get to know us through word of mouth we do a lot of social media instagram facebook um yeah things like that but most of the times it's walking people walk in see us they like what they get they come back again they bring their friends they bring their family so that's how we get kwa sasa tuko na wafanyikazi watano including myself hatuko wengi sana sababu ni biashara ndogo tumeanza not long ago but also um kuna hiyo kukuwa personalized service yeah while customer wetu wanajua our staff wanajua na akikuja anajua nataka nini unakulanga nini jaribu so there is that personal touch with our customers yeah uh, sasa uh, katika nchi yetu ya Kenya watu wanalia sana kuhusu changamoto za biashara hapa na pale mm -hmm. na haikosi kuna changamoto kwa biashara yako hata ingawa kabisa niona lakini mm -hmm. labda pengine tueleze changamoto kubwa ambayo mnakumbana nayo katika biashara hii ya mchirizi wa barafu ikawa ni gani uh, for us to make very good ice cream we need very good ingredients Not, and to get a source for very good ingredients sometimes it's tricky because some uh, people who you source from they are not giving you the very best so we try and get to source the ingredients sometimes can be tricky and also it's capital intensive so you find that you need a lot of capital to start such a business it's very capital intensive machinery is another big thing for us because we use a lot uh, we need machines they're not locally available so we have to import the machines and once you import a machine you need to maintain that machine so luckily i've got a very good engineer i work with to maintain my machines but once they break down to get a part for that machine sometimes it's very difficult so you've got to wait like sometimes a week or two to import a machine for the, to import a part for a machine so you have a, sometimes you can get a lot of downtime once the machine breaks down so that's one of our biggest challenge anything is possible if i can do it they can do it too but one of the best thing to start with is passion you must have a passion just because i'm doing it and i have a passion it's not infectious so you must have a passion for the business that's a starting point after start uh, a passion you've got to learn how to make the ice cream find the knowledge how to make the ice cream and also yeah it is capital intensive i won't lie so probably you need a few years working save up a lot because in our country we know that getting capital is very difficult the banks don't lend and if they lend to you must have an asset they borrow to borrow again so probably with time if you're young don't give up hope work hard save up um yeah because even the government doesn't give you the support to for startups and especially when a business like this is capital intensive because of the machinery basically most of the capital goes to the machines so um don't give up anything is possible if i can do it you can do it too min lienda shule i went to an italian in university for gelato making so that was it's an expense in itself uh, i've also invested you have to invest in yourself number one before you buy the machines you have to invest in yourself so i invested in uh, on good training um yeah which is cost a bit of money and also yeah it is in the upper range of thousands so you need a bit i wouldn't be specific but 
you need to be on the upper range of the capital. So it's it's a bit of thousands. Nataka kuonesha kwanza tunaweza tumia uh, locally available fruits. Passion fruit is a very good fruit. It's everybody loves a passion. Uh, this one you get it from the market. I go to the market myself. We have a lot of fruits. We have a lot of ingredients we can use to make a good ice cream. Uh, this is a, a passion fruit sorbet. It is lactose free, meaning that it does not contain any milk. It is very nice. It's zero fat. If you're watching your, the amount of fat you're taking in your body, if you don't take milk, this is very good. And basically all the ingredients we are going to use today are about three ingredients to make a very good ice cream. Yeah. Out of it. And, um, yeah, we'll see. And then you'll be the good judge to tell us whether it's nice. Yeah. So we'll just need three. That's where my expertise comes in. <laughs> to be able to balance the, the, the flavors and but yeah. Yeah. matunda hapa. We've got passion fruit. Uh tukona maji hapa. Tukona sugar. We've got uh, white sugar. No, neither to me as scary. Yeah. Uh -huh. Scary and just passion. There's nothing else. Yeah. So tuta unita katakata matunda, utona niki katakata matunda, nta squeeze matu ayo matunda, alafu unita mix, alafu unita to me ujuzi wangu, tuna machine apa tuna itanga reflector. Refractor utuna to me ku balance the flavor of good this nini yangu ya kujua it's just for me to know uh, the amount uh, whether the the ice cream is well balanced for myself so i do use this is my friend when i'm use i'm making a fruit based um ice cream this is my friend because um you, if you're using a commercial ingredient if you buy a, a commercial flavor probably you don't you don't need this because they measure for you everything but because I'm making my ice cream from scratch, I need to be able to balance. Mm -hmm. balance. Every single time I'm having uh, a, the same results. So you don't come to my shop today, the ice cream was too sweet and tomorrow it's not sweet. So this one is called a reflector. It's uh, it's I used to measure the amount of sugar in the ice cream, so uh, that's where my expert, uh, my training comes in to be able to balance the ingredients properly. Uh, we'd first of all start by cleaning our fruits, which is already clean, and then we'll chop them up. And this is not just the only ice cream we've got uh, when it comes to fruits. We've got a mango fruit, a mango fruit sorbet. We've got a raspberry sorbet. We've got a um, pineapple and mint sorbet as well. So we have a lot of fruits that we use. And I just want to show you, you can use the most basic ingredient. You can use any fruit, any. Passion is my favorite. Nata kwa kwa duka in the shop, this is a favorite. Uh, customer, uh, customers love it. Sasa pengine kuna yenye ni abei ya juu zaidi kwa sababu ni matunda fulani ama hapana. Uh. All of uh, we have a standard pricing of our, of our ice cream. Uh. So you can choose whatever you want. Kwa hivyo hata kama ni tunda tofauti bado bei. Yes, it's the same price. Uh, uh. And then you can get to mix uh, many fruits as many fruits. We got different flavors. You can mix them up. Uh. Yeah. So you can see this is a very good fruit, very fresh. Go today from the shop, from the market. I try to work with the local, local market traders, and support them in that way. And even the milk, I get it from a local person. So use, uh, try and use as as many local ingredients as I can where possible. Some things probably to not be possible, but for this one, it is possible. 
and you can see it's fresh. No. Mm. Mm. So customer kipata ice cream yake and a dream in fresh, it's organic, you know, it's a good fruit, so tengeneza matunda kwanza una squeeze ah uh, squeeze yote na hii tunaiacha ikiwa na mbegu vile ilivyo so hata ukikula um, when you're eating a, a, a passion fruit you don't take off the seeds do you so we like that rustic look in our ice creams as well yeah we mix into your ice cream is just three ingredients uh, no additive no nasty stuff into your ice cream very clean hivyo labda pengine niuleze kuna siku ambazo unaona kama kisiku mbaya ama labda ukutarajia jinsi ambavyo kitu kinakuwa siku hiyo kwa tunatengeza we don't have a bad day in the office that's why we are professionals. <laughs> we don't we don't do guesswork. So we it has to be specific. You have to measure your ingredients right, make sure everything is right, how you expect it. So we, a lot of planning goes into it. I don't just come and start making an ice cream. I do a lot of calculations. You, there's a lot a bit of mathematics that goes into it to balance, to know what to balance, what to put for it to balance so you don't guesswork. Quiz? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, if you want a good, pro, uh, a good equipment, you spend a little bit. Here, Metosha, what an imalize na na whisk. Kusa babu ni passion fruit. Atutaki kui bunja bunja sana. Yeah. Izo mbegu atutaki kuzi bunja sana. So we finish off with them. <laughs> no, we are, we are cooking sugar. We are making something delicious, which I think everybody would like. So from here, we are going to transfer it to our batch freezer. The machine that we use for making ice cream is called a batch freezer. Batch freezer. Batch freezer. So you're going to transfer all this goodness into the batch freezer and let the batch freezer do the magic. Yeah? Okay. Batch freezer. Put the mix in. We are going to start off the machine. Yeah? And give it some time and then it will we'll come back to extract the ice cream that has been made. Yeah? So you will see by the time it the ice cream is coming out, it's ready to eat. We'll just have to freeze it a little bit to give it shape and then that will be done. That will be ready to eat. So once it comes out, after an hour or two, it goes to our shop and it's ready to sell. So you get a fresh ice cream every time. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it, uh, it has, it's ice, it, it makes the ice cream, it hardens it, it freezes it. it. When we put the mix in, it was around 20 degrees. So when it's coming out, it will be around minus 7, minus 8. So it will be very, very cold. By the time. So it, it also depends with the kind of machine you're using. Every machine, there are so many machines. Some machines are faster than others. So some machines give you a quicker result faster. Some of them are slower. So it depends what kind of type of machine you're using. Yeah. So you can, you can even try for yourself. Oh, Asante, it's 
I hope it also tastes as nice as it looks. That's for you. Mtazamaji leo hii tumekuwa tukidadavua masuala ya mchirizi wa barafu na tumekuwa tukizungumza na Beth wa Moyo ambaye amezungumza mengi kuhusu biashara anayoifanya. Kumbuka kampuni ni Craving Scoop kila siku ya Jumatatu saa mbili usiku katika runinga yako ya Lookup TV hapa kazi na wamba wahisi majaliwa